I'm back. Rodrance for the Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching these videos. Let's get to this story because it's very interesting. It looks like it looks like somebody is trying to hold the mainstream media, the left wing media responsible for defamation. And look, this is what's going to have to happen. If these people are ever, these organizations are ever going to course correct, provided there's not somebody pulling the puppet strings behind the scenes, this is Breitbart, and it's pretty big. Hunter's laptop repairman sues CNN, Political, Daily Beast, and Adam Schieft for defamation. Wow. Mac Isaac told the New York Post, the congressman and establishment media falsely accused him of trafficking Russian disinformation during the 2020 presidential campaign. We all know why that was stifled. The suit reportedly claims, quote, CNN's broadcast of the false statement against the plaintiff of committing an infamous crime treason by working with Russians to commit a crime against the United States of America by attempting to undermine American de democracy and the 2020 presidential election. Mac Isaac's accusations will play out in court, but numerous times he was the brunt of left-wing talking points. For instance, CNN's Brian Stelter falsely labeled Hunter's laptop Russian dis disinformation and suggested the laptop contents may have been, quote, made up. In March, Stelter refused to walk back to this reporter the false claims he promoted on this program, and that's uh, that's him fighting back, I'm sure. Stelter, I don't want to hear his, not a damn word coming out of that dude's mouth. Politico ran a headline suggesting, in part, the laptop was, quote, Russian disinfo. The suit reportedly says the article was written by journalist Natasha Bertrand, who seemingly has a history of transforming speculation in the fact in stories in which she reports. Quote, purloined is the word the Daily Beast used to describe Hunter's laptop, which insinuates Mac Isaac stole Hunter's laptop. Mac Isaac maintains Hunter's dropped the laptop to him for repairs. Quote, pencil neck Adam Schiff, as Donald Trump dubbed the congressman, told CNN in an interview that Hunter's laptop was, quote, Kremlin tactic meant to defeat then candidate Joe Biden. Clearly, the origins of this whole smear came from the Kremlin and the president only too happy to have the Kremlin help and amplify it. Well, we know that was just a flat lie. Shift said live on air without presenting any evidence. It has been about 18 months since the establishment media and Shift went along with the Democratic narrative that Mac Isaac peddled Russian disinformation. Speaking with the Post, Mac Isaac said, quote, all I want now is for the rest of the country to know that there was a collective and orchestrated effort by social and mainstream media to block a real story with real consequences on the nation. Quote, Twitter lit initially labeled my action hacking. So the first day after my information was leaked, I was bombarded with hate mail and death threats revolving the idea that I was a hacker, a thief, and a criminal, Mac Isaac said. Without any intel, the head of the intel committee decided to share with CNN and its viewers a complete and utter lie. A lie issued in the protection of preferred presidential candidates. And we know how that went. Look, there's speculation that if that story would have actually came out in the manner it should have, because now we found out that that story is fact, that it was an actual thing, there is speculation out there. And, and look, YouTube, speculation, okay? There's speculation out there that, point of fact, this could have swung the election. It was up to a 17-point swing for Biden versus Trump. Think about that a minute now. And you can go back and see what the outcome was there, but you get the point. Somebody, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse is, is doing the defamation thing against a lot of entities. And we've seen that before. Uh, so... It's going to be interesting. We're going to follow this to see where this goes, to see if he can actually hold any of these entities actually responsible. Unfortunately, defamation cases are very tough to win. 
That's the understanding I've got when I've talked to people about them. But it seems that he's got a case. Look what's happened now. We have found out this whole thing was truthful and that there was an issue there involving Hunter Biden and all these different things he had his tentacles into. And the mainstream media, the legacy media, went out there and just flat lied about it over and over, social media as well. Twitter, thank God Elon's in charge now. He's going to be the CEO soon. Tell me what you think, black and white network fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.